Hi, this is Sami Kajonen from Foxnet Teams and Plugins. Here's a short demo about Paytrail Payment Gateway and admin side of it, how to use it on, on backend. So, first step is you're gonna need to log into your dashboard on WordPress install. After that, you have to have easy digital downloads and Paytrail Payment Gateway plugins installed and activated. Then you're gonna see downloads tab here and their downloads settings. The first step you're gonna do is uh, hit the download settings and in general tab you must have currency in euros because Paytrail, Payment Gateway and Paytrail for now only works in euros. So be sure to check that first and save changes after that. Then go to tab Payment Gateways. In there make sure you have checked the Paytrail Gateway also and if you want you can use it as a default gateway also. In the same tab go to the Paytrail settings where you can enter your merchant ID and merchant secret. You get those from the Paytrail account and in here I have my test merchant ID and test merchant secret which I can use if I have enabled the test mode in my Ethical downloads. So first check euros then under payment gateways check that you have Paytrail checked on and you can use it as a default gateway if you want. After that in Paytrail settings Keep your merchant ID and merchant secret. And after that, you should check the extension tab, where is a couple of settings more. For example, you can show image, page rail image at the checkout page. It's gonna look like this. If I'm gonna check this, save changes. On the checkout page, which I have here, this is just a basic easy to download checkout page. If I refresh, there is this Paytrail account image after that. If I uncheck it, then the image is gone. Another option is to check finish address fields. If you check this, the end result looks, it's going to look like uh, that you have this personal info first and after that you got those billing details as you get them in Finland. So first there is usually billing address, the chip code and the city and the country. These are all uh, required field in a Paytrail account. And if you gonna check this, the Paytrail Payment Gateway plugin is going to send these uh, extra fees like address and product info into your Paytrail account. Actually, it's also gonna, if you're gonna check this finish address fields on, it's gonna send also your tax rate into your Paytrail account. And if you're gonna leave this empty, that's default tax rate, uh, then the Paytrail Payment Gateway is going to send 24% tax rate by default. So if you want to use something else, you have to put, put it in default tax rate over here. Even if you don't enable taxes in your, in your shop. So, what's the final step? Go to the Licenses tab and I'm just gonna deactivate my license first. Enter your license key over there, save changes, and if it's a valid one, you get the input button deactivate license. And now you're gonna get your you're gonna get your uh, automatic updates from your dashboard.